Hi, Macy here. Welcome back to Code to Create. Since one of my USB Arduino video got quite positive feedback and some of you are asking for a tutorial about Bluetooth with Arduino. Without further ado, I will show you how to use Bluetooth with your Arduino. The most popular model for Bluetooth in Arduino is actually a chip called ESP32. You do not have to buy it from this manufacturer because they do have different range of the product varying prices, such as this one. It's the retired product from Intel, which is called the Tiny Tile from Intel. It was retailed for $45. And this Arduino board is way more powerful than the other one I have. I believe this is only retail for a few dollars. You can go even cheaper model based on what you need. And most more people are using Bluetooth are for portable product. If you look closely, this only supports three volts, which means you need to be more careful when you are working with a board that only supports up to three volts. I have burned out some chips like this and just be careful. The second thing is you need to find a good USB cable. Those small Arduino chips do not support the traditional Arduino plugs, so it does not work with any USB cables. You either can purchase one or dig out all the USB cables you have, just plug into your computer. Make sure your computer can recognize your board. Last thing you need to get before we start the tutorial is to download a mobile app that can help you check your Bluetooth data. So I'm using the one called Light Blue. I will share the link down below. It's a free Bluetooth discovery app to help you connect with your Bluetooth devices, which is your Arduino. And the app supports iOS and Android, which makes develop for Bluetooth so much easier. Now I am on my Arduino. In order to have your ESP32 recognized, you need to install the board on your Arduino software. So we can click on tools and click on the board manager. You can just search for ESP32. And I have this ESP32 boards by Arduino already installed. There are many other features you can also get by install the manufacturer's uh, board libraries. And now I have the ESP32 DAP model connected to my Arduino board. As I mentioned previously, if you cannot see the board is being detected, try a different USB cable. The first thing I would like to try just to run a simple script. Here I used an example that's just basic uh, blink. So here just click basic example blink and you can see here they are looking for LED building. However, we are using a special model. My ESP 32, the LED building pin is actually number two. In order to have it be working, I need to change the default LED input into number two. Okay, so I do need to change all the pins to number two. You can also declare a variable for it, upload it. You can see my Arduino board is blinking. We can change the wait time just to make sure everything's working correctly. So I will change the delay to five seconds. So everything is milliseconds. We need to change it to five seconds. Let's upload it. You can see now the blinking has been delayed, which means my script is working properly and the board is working properly. So I would recommend you do this test run with a board once you received, making sure you can upload scripts to your Arduino board. We have tested our Arduino board and 
also downloaded all the example libraries, let's explore what we can do with this ESP32. Let's click on File, Examples. You will see the new examples for ESP32 dev module has been installed. For our purposes, we would love to try the Bluetooth low energy features. Let's just try the server. This example basically allows your ESP32 acting as a server and start advertising itself. We will just make sure we choose the right model. Click tools, board is the ESP32, ESP32 dev models. You need to select the correct one for your devices and the port and upload. My code is completed uploading. I am on my light blue app. Now you can see the long name works now. It's my new server. And I'm getting all the information from the device. This is a great starting point for your Bluetooth project. If you would like to use this for your personal project, you do not want to use third party apps, I highly recommend you go through GitHub looking for some open source examples. If you would like to see more in-depth tutorials in Adreno Bluetooth Low Energy, please comment down below. I would love to make those content for you. Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial being very useful, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you would like to watch next. Thank you very much. See you in next video. Bye for now.